Nye County Sheriff's Office has issued a release regarding one individual who was taken into custody for first-degree arson, torturing, overdriving, or injuring animals times 17 counts, discharging a firearm within a structure, and resisting a public officer. Arrested was 57-year-old Diane Davis, the owner of Dream Chaser Horse Rescue on Murphy Street. On Sunday night at approximately 9.30 p.m., deputies were dispatched to a report of a female wanting to commit suicide at an address on North Murphy. While en route, dispatch advised the deputies that the female had barricaded herself in the residence and had a firearm. Upon arrival of deputies, the female could be seen through the window of the residence and had the firearm in her hand, according to the report. Deputies apparently tried for several minutes to attempt to get the female to come out of her home. However, the female refused. Deputies were also advised that the female had several dogs inside the residence with her. While deputies were negotiating with the female, they did hear a gunshot from inside the home. After several minutes, deputies noticed that there appeared to be fire in one of the back rooms of the residence. There was heavy smoke coming from the residence, and smoke forced the female to come out of the front door. Deputies immediately gave commands to the female due to her having a firearm in her hand. She refused to obey commands, according to the report. The female, Diane Davis, then tried to go back into the residence, according to deputies, and at this time the deputies tased Diane Davis, causing her to drop the firearm. The female was then restrained by Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies. Brown Valley Farm Rescue was requested to the scene to put out the fire. It was found by investigation that the female had started the fire and several of her dogs perished inside the home. Diane Davis was taken into custody on Monday and was arrested on those following charges booked into the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. She is being held on the bail amount of $35,000. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46.